welcome to Bangalore 101 and I'm Mansi Paresh Kumar. Now about a year ago, the then mayor of Bangalore City, Gangabika Malikarjun, directed all the BBMP councillors to hold ward meetings on the first Saturday of every month. And the BBMP commissioner uh, issued a circular to this on November 16, exactly a year ago. Getting these ward committee meetings going is touted as one of the major achievements of Gangabika's tenure as the mayor of Bangalore. A year later, we look at where things stand and just how effective these meetings have been. Now, a group called Sensing Local Foundation released a report last month giving us various figures on attendance and citizen and official participation in these meetings. And we've identified three major issues of that report. Now, number one. Now, now, the success of these water committee meetings is now largely being measured on the number of times they've met as opposed to, you know, the problem-solving abilities. So, I'll start there. Now, between December 2018 and June of 2019, all 198 what should have held at least seven monthly meetings, seven monthly meetings, right? But 52 wards have not conducted even one meeting. And only 12% of the total number have conducted 5 out of the 7 meetings. Numbers don't lie, you know. Now the second issue is that uh, the main uh, function of a ward committee is to, uh, you know, uh, create development plans for the ward, monitor the works that are going on, and, you know, budget allocation, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, and Sensing Locals report, they did a detailed study of 22 wards, found that basically what these meetings have turned into was grievance redressal forums. You no know, scenarios, I myself have heard things like, oh, my neighbor's dog is barking late into the night kind of seminar. So, while there has been an increased citizen participation, I mean, some of the ward meetings saw about 50 people turn up for it. It kind of defeats the purpose if these are the issues that we're discussing. In fact, to address this, one of the wards, Shantinagar wards, actually created a separate, separate grievance redressal meeting so as to ensure that the official ward committee meeting was not disrupted. And that's an idea all of us should actually replicate in our wards. Now, the third issue that we identified was that technically these ward committee meetings should be chaired by the corporators. But the report found that about 60% of them were chaired by the corporators, but the others were usually taken over by their proxies. The man Fridays, and the husbands. Corporators were also not very forthcoming with data on what the work was being done, budget allocations. You know, they were very, we don't want to tell you kind of a thing. Now, let's be honest, you know, at the start of this, the challenge was to get the ward committees to meet at all. And now that the momentum has begun, except for those 52 wards who haven't had even one committee meeting, you guys need to push for that. Now that we've got the momentum going, what you really need to do is know a few tips and tricks to make these ward committees work for you more effectively. And that's what we're going to give it to you now. First tip, demand a standard venue for these meetings and a standard medium to find out where these meetings are happening. Ask them to put it up on a website, you know, so more number of you can find out where they're happening. The second tip, demand an agenda for the meeting and ensure that it is publicized at least a week ahead before the meeting. This is not that you're asking for the moon, this is mandated by law. So when you go for the meeting, you know what the agenda is. That's number two. Now the third one is demand data. Ward maps, you know, council resolutions, revenue streams. You, you need to know this to ensure that you can take an informed decision. It's very important to follow the money, to know where our tax money is being wasted the most. That's number three. The fourth one. Now, if you're a ward committee member, please know your responsibilities so you can participate. And if you're not a ward committee member, you definitely need to know what the responsibilities are so you can ensure they work for you better. And the last one that I will give you is the fifth one. Demand for an action taken report every month. Now we meet every month 
and when you meet the next month you need to know what was decided upon the previous month has it been done or not so ask for an action taken report so you know just how much work has been done in those three weeks that's all we have for you this week until next week take care